A set of four of these was about 70 bucks versus $175 a piece. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be replacing my Ram 3500 center caps. About six months ago, we lost both of our passenger side center caps. Don't know why, they just popped off. I guess it's fairly common. And I started looking into the Ram replacements. These are $175 a piece. Granted, they are built pretty well. They survived a lot of miles and didn't pop off, but I could not bring myself to spend $350 for two center caps. So I looked on Amazon and I found these replacements. Granted, you're losing the, the Ram logo, but I don't care. I don't want to advertise for Ram. I just want to save money. A set of four of these was about 70 bucks versus $175 a piece. So I'm going to throw these on, clean these up, and then throw them on eBay probably. I'll make enough money off of these to pay for these. But there are some differences. And I just opened the package up. I've had them in my trailer for like three months now. Never got a chance to install them. The sun is setting, so I got to quickly put these on but I figured I would show you guys what it looks like. Right here, there is a, a pretty significant difference in size, in thickness, and this one feels really solid. This is definitely a little bit cheaper feeling. It's nice and shiny, and you can see some, some imperfections in the coating right here. Actually, no, that's not. That is just, I think, dirt from packaging, because it comes right off. So anyways, they're not great, but huge, huge price difference. A full set of four of these would be $700 for these versus $70 for four of these. So these are 10 times the price, and I would say that these are maybe half as good. So I could buy five sets of these and still be way ahead of the game. Now, I don't know why the original ones fell off. I'm gonna guess we hit a big pothole or something and they just bounced off. These tabs on here, the original side are pretty pretty substantial. These are definitely weaker, but these are also a nightmare to get off. Um, you're always trying not to scratch your wheels taking them off. So I just want to try these out and if they fall off every year, it's still cheaper to do that than replacing these. So I still think I'm going to clean these up and sell them on eBay because people are trying to find them because they all have the same issue. They lose a couple and they don't want to go out and buy brand new ones. But you can see this has the Ram logo. This does not. Pretty much all the rest of it is just about the same in terms of looks. I would say the Ram factory one is double the weight, double the weight of this one. So this is much thinner and cheaper, but the real test is will it stay on? And time will tell, but I think it'll be all right. I read a lot of reviews and there are a couple brands that are similar. This one had the most reviews and the most positive reviews. Some of the complaints were that they do pop off, but so do the factory ones. So unless these come off, a couple times a year, I still think it's a better deal. I just think that, that, that $175 for this is exorbitant, so I'm just not gonna pay it. If I lose them every 25,000 miles, I will just simply replace them. They're, they're cheap enough to not really worry about it. I'm gonna put links down below to all of this, but I'm also gonna put on the screen uh, the actual costs because I'm going off of memory right now, and I think these were about $70 for the whole set. And these were, I think the rears were like 178 and the fronts were 173 and uh, because you can see, this is a rear center cap, this is a front center cap, and there's definitely a difference in size. So this one probably costs more because there's more materials. I have all four to replace. I think it's gonna make a huge difference in terms of how the truck looks because it's been really bothering me. I have a nice shiny new camper on there and one side of the truck is missing the center caps. So let's go fix that right now. So these little tabs, they just line up 
over your lug nuts. And the funny thing is, is these fake lug nuts don't actually align <laughs> with these. So you have to kind of put it on and then, and then put them in the center, just like that. And then and that's it. Just bang it on, done. This is their front version. Same thing. So this one's a little easier to grab onto, but it's still, it's pretty solid. I think, I think they're gonna stay on pretty well. As you can see, I'm losing the sun quickly. It's a little bit of wiggle, but there we go. It stays on pretty well. Not nearly as well as the factory ones. But, but at one tenth the cost, I'm certainly willing to give them a try. It's funny, the rears seem a little bit looser than the fronts. The fronts are very tight, but that could just be a slight difference in how they manufacture these. So anyways, let's see how it looks from back here. I do need to wash the truck and the camper and the wheels, all of it. It's very dusty around here and having a black truck is hard to keep clean. I think I'll put out a little before and after on and it definitely improves the look. So we're still super busy and uh, we're gonna be getting out in the Kingstar soon. Gotta do some, give it a bath. You can just see it's, we've had a lot of rain and wind. You can see on the, the truck it's, uh, it's pretty filthy, so I gotta give it a good bath. It's been about six months since I gave it a good wax, and uh, we've taken it to the spray booth a couple times, but with the wind and the dust, it's pretty hard to keep it on top of. This is actually from condensation in the morning, and the dust blows and sticks to it, so it's, it's a never-ending battle. Once I get it all shined up, I think I'll take it out in the sun, take some pictures, and show you guys all about it. So I think they look pretty good. Let me yank on this front one again. Yeah, see this one, I can't get off. I would need a tool for that. The rears are a little bit easier to get off. So I'm gonna package these back up and I think I'm definitely gonna just give them a good bath and throw them on eBay. And I should be able to pay myself back for the cost of the new ones. I would admit that the, the new ones are not nearly as good but, but these are, are not 10 times better. And I'm just not gonna pay crazy dealership prices for center caps. So luckily Amazon has good options for us. This is just a quick video. I've been trying to get that done for months. In a future video, I will get the truck washed, shine everything up, make it look as good as I can. And I still think even once I get the, the aluminum cleaned and polished up, these will still be much brighter because this is an aluminum look and this is like a chrome look. So that's all I have for you this week. I hope this video can save you a little bit of money. I will leave links to everything down below. And I'm sure that they sell center caps for all of the major trucks out there. We were really lucky to be able to get like 70,000 miles before ours popped off. I know a lot of people have them pop off far more frequently than that. We did have it happen on really rough roads. We were on the highway. They were there in the morning, but they weren't at night when we parked. And this was, yeah, about six or seven months ago. So anyways, I think that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.